Oh colors Because of false pride I left you I wandered for miles without a penny You drew me back without being hurt or angry Your attraction and beauty have obsessed me that beauty which cannot be found in a million years this poem was written in kannada by late dg kulkarni popularly called dizzy a very versatile artist of our times a painter with an ardent love for colors a cartoonist and illustrator with mastery over the line and a superb sculptor Dattatre Kulkarni was born in 1921 in Shedbal village of Belgaum district in Karnataka in 1939 after completing matriculation in Shedbal Dizzy left for Bombay he joined Sir J J School of Arts Side by side with studies he worked as an illustrator and cartoonist with the Indian Express, the Illustrated Weekly and some other dailies. This was to earn a living till he got his permanent job with the Free Press Journal. Years later he became a visiting professor at the JJ School of Arts. Besides being an established cartoonist, Dizzy had already made a mark as an uncompromising painter this is abundantly evident in his wonderful watercolor miniatures on the studied eccentricities of his famous artist friends he had a ceaseless quest for new forms and style he experimented constantly there was no stereotype in his work his understanding of colors their application in relations his perfection in drawing and composition were that of a master and eternally fascinating it has been said about dizzy you may like his works or you may not but you will find it difficult to ignore them and this is what dizzy had to say the artist has no other purpose than to explore enjoy and achieve aesthetics The best way to appreciate a painting is not to try to find a literary meaning in the work. Look at a painting without reading the title and find out how the forms are arranged, how the colors are matched or contrasted. What is the predominant color and how the other colors are subordinate to the main color? how color tonal gradations are used what you're looking at are the shapes and forms the artist has used and those are his own he has used them for aesthetic purpose to create overall harmony balance and effect to express something he has experienced at this stage you are near the borderline of the artist as a person in appreciating a painting you are experiencing a fraction of the artist's mind at work this method of looking at the painting will help to develop your sensibilities to color and forms which in turn help you to understand the visual language of a painting there is a very interesting incident which made dizzy into a sculptor A tube well was being bored near his house in Villepalle, a suburb of Mumbai. Out came a tubular shaped piece of rock. Using carpenter's tools, the rock was transformed into a human head. Thus, the sculptor in Dizzy was born. Sculpting was probably the crowning glory of Dizzy's career. He used his imagination everyday observations and deep interest in the human form to translate his thoughts into these inimitable works 
With his latent talents and hard work, Dizzy soared to great heights. He won the prestigious Lalit Kala Academy Award for his oil painting and received the Maharashtra State Puraskar as an outstanding artist. Two of his sculptures bagged him state awards. His works are displayed in the National Gallery and many private collections all over the world, including the United Nations Building in New York. Dizzy never commercialized his art. This basic character of the man has enabled Larson & Tubro Limited to acquire the largest collection of Dizzy, with a permanent display of his works virtually creating a museum in his memory. Dizzy Kulkani was truly a great artist. And what we have done basically is befitting a great artist recognition, while that being in line with our own urge to recognize the excellence, which in a way also provides the right environment for our employees to go beyond things others cannot easily do. And that has more made LNT what we say, we make things that make India proud. Dizzy lived by his beliefs and convictions. He had a sense of humor and a wonderful attitude to life of giving of himself but wanting nothing. To him, his creativity was always more important than the reward. He had a command over application of colors. He made his own canvas, often mixed his colors from the pure pigments he bought. He never compromised on the standards of art. Metamorphosis, the canvas that won Dizzy the Lalit Kala Academy Award, portrays men, women and beasts in all stages of their transformation. The legacy left behind is someone who worked seriously and for the purpose of the work itself and not whether I shall be famous, whether I shall sell or, or these other uh, more uh, tawdry aspects of the profession. He struggled throughout his life to live as an artist. Of course, he, he worked to earn money, but he didn't use his work of art to earn the money. I, as an artist, am entitled to conflicts, obsessions, frustrations and what not. But when I approach the canvas with my brush, I try to resolve and triumph over them by creating the work of art. And the moment it is finished, it is an independent entity. It is released from my system and it acquires a life of its own. On 16th November 1992, Dizzy passed away at the age of 71. Today, his wife Alka, an accomplished sita player, lives in their small flat surrounded by Dizzy's beautiful creations, content at the thought that her husband is immortalized. Oh, colors, I tried to run away from you. But when I slept, you entered my dreams. You chased me day and night. I am defeated by your persistent love. I feel I am yours. No, I think now I am you and you are mine.